Here is everything you need to know about Desperate Housewives from someone who would know. Okay, so I have a paper route. That might sound boring, but you don't even know. It's the opposite of boring. It's insane. Steery Lane must be the weirdest street in the whole town. It always seems like something's broken or somebody's dead or somebody's getting naked with people they shouldn't be getting naked with. Smile, Gabriel. For normal old street, there's always a lot of stuff going on. There are these four ladies on the block who always seem to be in the middle of everything. And break. Whenever something weird's going on, one of them always seems to have something to do with it. Take Mrs. Solis. She's like smoking hot. She used to be a model. I guess she used to be in magazines and stuff. Yes, I'm unbelievable, Koshy Mouse. She was married to this rich guy who got into trouble with the law. I think he stole a bunch of money from his company or something. I'm innocent, I swear to God. He went to jail. They were poor for a little while after that. They tipped crap. But even when they were poor, the gardener was over there, like, all the time. Didn't you think it was strange that you had the only lawn that needed to be mowed three times a week? Now they're divorced. I am going to kill you! I think the gardener might have had something to do with that. <laughs> Mrs. Scabo has lots of kids. <laughs> she used to be a big businesswoman or something. Then she stayed home with her kids, and her husband went to work. But that didn't work out. They tried a nanny for a while, but that didn't work out. So then her husband stayed home, and Mrs. Scabo went to work. But that really didn't work out. Then her husband opened a pizza parlor and she got cancer. God, this is annoying! She doesn't have cancer anymore, though. Then they hired this new chef at the restaurant, but I guess he didn't work out either. You can't work here anymore! But their pizza is still really good. There you go. So I guess that worked out okay. Mrs. Vandekamp always makes me cinnamon muffins at Christmas, which is weird. Deviled egg, puff pastry, paprika! But kind of nice, I guess. I told you she'd have food. She has two kids, and I thought her daughter got pregnant. I'm pregnant! But then Mrs. Vandekamp had the baby, so I'm confused. She used to be married to Mr. Vandekamp. I like to be dominated. Huh? But he died. Something was wrong with his heart pills. And she dated a pharmacist. Do you have an erection? And then he died. Now she's married to Mr. Hodge. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So I guess I should call her Mrs. Hodge now. I think someone could use a cocoa. I hope he doesn't die too. Mrs. Meyer and Mr. Delfino used to live across the street from each other. Mom, the dish is clean. Oh. They dated for a while and then they broke up. Get out. Then they started seeing other people and then they got back together again. I know you like pie. Then he got hit by a car and went to a coma. Then Mrs. Meyer dated another guy and then they broke up so she could get back together with Mr. Delfino. Now they're married, but I think he's on drugs. He's been acting kind of weird lately. Mike, stop! Whoa. Miss Britt is crazy. Can you tell I'm not wearing any underwear? Yes! Good. She dated Mr. Delfino for a while. Then she dated Mr. Solis for a while. And then she tried to kill herself. But Mr. Solis saved her. She seems mad all the time now. Me. Blonde. Bleach. I don't think she has many friends. Hang them high. Yes! Mr. and Mrs. Mayfair moved in not too long ago. Catherine. I guess they lived here when their daughter Dylan was little but she doesn't seem to remember any okay, of it. Okay, you've got to remember this. How can a person not remember a place where they used to live? I'm starting to think maybe you're the monster. There's something going on there, but I don't know what. Mr. Mayfair was making out with some other lady, and Mrs. Mayfair found out because the other lady locked herself in a room. I guess she was messed up in the head. Is that you, darling? But then she got killed in the storm. Oh yeah, the storm. Everything's always strange on Wisteria Lane, but then a big storm hit, and everything went even stranger. Mrs. Scavo's whole family almost died. They stayed in this other house on the block that got smashed by the tornado. Everybody's okay, but it was close. It was scary. Mrs. Solis' new husband, the mayor, didn't die when she tried to kill him. It was a storm that got him. And then the mayor's dad found out that she was still seeing her ex-husband, Mr. Solis, and cut her out of the mayor's inheritance. You're not getting a dime. Burn. Mr. Solis is blind now, but I'm not sure how many people know it. You haven't told her yet, have you? She has a lot of money stashed away somewhere, and Miss Brick keeps trying to steal it. Told you she was crazy. Give me the damn folder, Edie! Ah! Well, I guess that's pretty much all you need to know about Ow! Wisteria Lane. Paper Rod doesn't sound so boring anymore, does it? Ah! Oh, oh, oh my god! You never know what'll happen next. Start at the beginning with seasons one, two, and three now available on DVD. Ah! Start anytime with full episodes now playing at ABC.com. Start fresh Sunday, April 13th when Desperate Housewives returns with all new episodes on ABC. Start here.